Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can add a click to call button to your Squarespace website that only shows up on mobile devices. Now we are gonna use just a little bit of custom code to make this magic happen and I've added the code in the description beneath this video. But there's some important things that you need to know about setting this up in your Squarespace website. So let's go ahead and hop on into Squarespace and I'll show you how to create this step by super simple step. So here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the three things we're going to do in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create the click to call link in your main navigation. Then we're going to use code to hide that link on the desktop version of your site. And then we'll use some additional code to add a border and background color so that the last link in your menu can look like a button. Now that's totally optional. I just love the look of having a button at the end of the desktop menu. And when we create this click to call just for mobile, we're going to need to recreate that look with CSS. So starting with the very first thing, let's create our click to call link in the main navigation. I'm going to select edit. You can do this from any page, then select edit site header. Now over here under elements, I'm going to toggle on the button. Now you'll notice I already have text here that displays the phone number and it says tell 555 and has all the numbers there. Click on this gear icon and make sure you have selected phone from the link editor. This is where you can enter the telephone number. I'll go ahead and select close and show you how we got there one last time. Select Edit Site Header, click into Elements, and toggle on the button. Now here you can have this text say anything you want. You can just have it say Click to Call if you'd like. But make sure you click this gear icon and select Phone from the link editor and enter the phone number you want people to call when they click on that button. I'll click the Close option here and show you what this looks like on the mobile version of our site. We'll go ahead and save our changes here so we can see the button. Now if we click on the mobile view and open up our mobile menu, this click to call option will be right there at the bottom. I'll go ahead and close this and we'll hop back to the desktop view. Now let's go ahead and disable this button on desktop so it's only visible on mobile. To do that, I'm gonna navigate to design and then I'll select custom CSS. Now this code is beneath the video. I'm just gonna paste it right here. What this says is that any screen that is at least 240 pixels in width, I don't want you to display that call to action in the header. Now that's the breakpoint that Squarespace uses to show your mobile menu. So anything that's 240 pixels in width, when you see that header action button, don't display it. I'll select save and let's take a look at the mobile version of our site. We'll click on the menu and our button is right there, but on the desktop version, it's completely gone. Now let's say you do want to keep that button look for the last link in your site. We can totally do that with some custom CSS. We'll add a border and background color to create that button effect. Now this code is also underneath the video, but this part is super important. I want you to place it before this final bracket because we only want this to happen when that header action link is not displayed. So I'm gonna hit a new line right here and paste my code right there, which is now turning the very last link in my header navigation, that active link, into a button with a border, a background, and some padding, and a margin top. Now all of these values I've adjusted to suit the size of the font that I have here on my website. I'd strongly recommend adjusting the padding and the margin for your font and then changing the border and background so it matches the style of your own website. So definitely adjust all of those values. But the important part right here is that we're isolating just the last link in our header and all of these codes are between this final bracket and this first bracket. So it only happens when that is not displayed. Now our mobile menu is still gonna look exactly the same. You see how we have the click to call button there? But here on desktop, we have our main menu with a brand new button on the edge, but that click to call option is no longer visible. Again, change these values to suit your site style. And when you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, there you have it. Again, I've outlined the steps and added the code to the description beneath this video so you can implement this on your own Squarespace website. Now, if this is your very first time using custom CSS in Squarespace, I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There, I've got a free guide to the basics of customizing your Squarespace website with code. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give me a like and a comment if you did, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. 
I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at InsideTheSquare.co forward slash CSS. That's InsideTheSquare.co forward slash CSS.